Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to go through um, kind of how I've been growing my email list. If you guys hop on, you can ask some questions, um, kind of talk about it. But a couple people were asking, so I'm just going to do this little screen share here. So basically, my social profile, um, I've turned that into kind of a social funnel. So you can see kind of my cover photo. If people, I could add a button here even, but if people click on it, um, it's going to take them to my lead magnet. And same thing here, my, uh, my Facebook picture is a short little video. I think they give you seven seconds. Um, switching from me to my course that I'm promoting right now. And then if you scroll down here, um, my uh, featured photo is really a call to action for people to grab my, my free lead magnet. And you can create these. I use Canva. It's a free um, design tool. It's got a mobile version and a desktop version. Um, well, basically, yeah, this is when people, when I post in groups and stuff, people will come to my profile and check me out. And uh, they'll see this and they'll click this link right here, which I can pop this open. And it takes them to this funnel. So basically, they see, you know, how to make your first thousand dollars and kickstart your online business. Stop wasting your time watching others succeed and launch your own sales funnels. This free course will teach you the basic skills needed to set up and profit from online sales funnels. Um, I got a testimonial here from one of my clients I've been doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with, helping him build out funnels for his real estate company. Um, then basically it has some of the benefits here, kind of a you know warning. If you avoid this, you're missing out on something you could be doing wrong. Then the next section is the hero section, kind of talking about me. And uh, then it's just another call to action here at the bottom. So anything they push on here, it's just going to pop up this pop-up. And I'm asking for their name and email address. And from that point, once they opt in, they get added to my autoresponder and active campaign. So I have automation set up um, to basically start my soap opera sequence, which kind of introduces them to me. And also it'll start sending out some campaigns um, to try to get them to purchase some products and stuff like that. But basically you can set something up like this as well. And it starts growing your list kind of just passively. Um, so I'll show you an active campaign. It kind of gives you a little summary of recent activity over here. So people kind of just trickle in. Um, whenever I engage in groups and stuff, I try to go in these groups and add value, um, do some training, you know, give tips and stuff. And then that'll get people to my profile then when they check me out they're like oh he's got this free course let me check this out and basically at the end of my soap opera sequence which is a five-day sequence um, I'm like you know you guys should really grab this OFA bonus course which it's kind of in conjunction with the one funnel away challenge that click funnels does so basically that's what I have right now and obviously I'm building out my uh, my free phone mastery course, or not my free phone mastery course, my uh, money makeover challenge course. So here's ClickFunnels editor. This is just a basic opt-in and thank you page um, that I'm using for this. So once they opt in, I'll show you here. It's going to take them to the next step. And it takes them to the thank you page. Now, from here, you could direct them to your Facebook group um, or link them to an offer, an upsell. 
um, whatever you wanted to do. Right now I have it set to um, take them straight to the OFA bonus course sales page. So it um, just kind of takes them to this page. They can see everything inside of the OFA bonus course, uh, what they're gonna get. And at that point they could purchase this course outright for 59 bucks. Otherwise, I also am an affiliate of ClickFunnels, so if they take the One Funnel Away Challenge for ClickFunnels, they get this course for free. And that would take them to ClickFunnels um, page through the affiliate boot camp because that unlocks some more bonuses for them. Um, but basically, you can do this however you want. But the key thing is kind of optimizing your social profile, turn it into a funnel. You got your cover photo you can use. You got your Facebook profile picture, which you can turn into a short video. You got your featured photo and just make sure to link to, um, to your lead magnet or even a waiting list. So I can show you guys kind of what I've been doing for the Money Makeover Challenge so far. Right now it's just a waiting list. So people will come to my waiting list and uh, I'm pretty much only sending warm, warm traffic here right now. They'll just put their email address in. It's going to add them to a list, an active campaign. And then once I'm ready to launch, I'll already have people who are interested in taking this challenge or course or whatever it might be that I can email them and say, hey, the Money Makeover Challenge is ready to go. I'm happy to give you a discount since you signed up early. Um, go ahead and send them the link to that. But ClickFunnels is really um, pretty cool for um, doing stuff like this in. I know a lot of people use Kajabi. And I've also seen um, Kartra. I'm really interested in Kartra for trying out their membership area. But I'll show you kind of how ClickFunnels is. So this would be the, the access page. Now with ClickFunnels, I wouldn't host like high value courses in ClickFunnels. I would do like, you know, $100 or less, stuff like that. If you're doing like a 997 course, I would not host it in ClickFunnels. The reason is um, how people get access to these courses is a secret sign up URL. So really anyone could share that and then you'd have to, you know, track people down to see whether they really purchased or not. But for my purposes right now, just kind of learning, it's been um, pretty good to do things quickly. So you can use these tabs here. You can put in videos, documents, um, links to websites, images, uh, text, kind of whatever you want in here. So if you guys want, I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, it's basically my uh, template in Canva that I used for my feature photo. I just changed my color, and you guys can grab that. Um, if you don't have Canva, that is like a must-have, I think, for anyone doing any kind of marketing or course creation. Um, a lot of stuff you probably want more professional design, but with Canva you can whip up stuff pretty quickly and get something put together. And another resource I use um, to create all my mockups is called smartmockups.com. And basically they have free or paid mockup templates. I've just been using the free ones. Um, I really like to bootstrap stuff 
Um, but I'll put these here as well. So what you do with this is, okay, let's say I wanted to turn this into a mock-up. I use a Google Chrome extension called Full Page Screen Capture. You could just use a regular um, screen capture tool, but what this does is it'll take the picture of the whole um, page. Then you can just download that image. See, it downloads right there. Then I go back to Smart Mockups and choose the one I want. So for the desktop, I'll upload the one I just downloaded right here. Then you can stretch it out however you want, make it bigger. Oops. And you can play with this to get it, you know, perfect how you want it. Another thing I would do is, um, for this little section, I would use usually expand all these lessons so people could see, you know, all these lessons they're getting inside of the course. Just do this for now just to show you an example so basically then you can just download this right here and this is a PNG so it's transparent um, so you can put it over any background super slick tool Then I would go back to my funnel or wherever I was going to use the image. For instance, if I was going to put it on this for my featured photo, I would go to upload an image. And that's going to be in my downloads now, hopefully. Let's see. There we go. So then boom. Now I got my mock up on here. Can resize it. All these colors are editable. You can just change them. And then publish this. Download. Now you got your um, featured photo for Facebook. So you just go, a lot of people don't even know about this. They got probably six or seven photos here. Go to edit featured. And if you have six or seven, I would delete them and just put your one um, featured photo for your lead magnet. You can see how that would look. Um, I don't want to replace mine, but basically, I don't know what the back end of Kajabi looks like, but for active campaign. Um, first, you start with a list, and uh, people get added to the list when they opt in to your lead magnet. So from there, they have an automations feature, and you can set these up, you know, individually. You can have multiple lists go to one automation. Basically, you set a trigger 
if the contact subscribes to this list, first it's going to send me a notification. Then it's going to send them this email. Thank you for your purchase of the OFA bonus course. And right now I just have a wait step here so they don't fall out of the bottom. But you can do all kinds of things. You can segment your lists based on, um, you know, if they've opened the email, how, how many days have passed. Um, if they're in another list, if they have a purchase product tag, um, all kinds of stuff. So basically, yeah, that's it. Um, grab an email autoresponder, whether that's, I think Kajabi does that, or I use Active Campaign so I could help out there. Um, I am an affiliate for both of these. So if you want, I can help you um, sign up and give you some personal training on that. I'm also an affiliate of ClickFunnels, if that looks like something you might be interested in. Um, Canva is 100% free. They do have paid features, but I you don't ever need to use them. Um, I have ordered business cards from them, and they did really well. So, also uh, smart mockups. You can start with the free stuff. They also have some paid ones that might be better for a high dollar course. And there's some other other design tools you can get if you want to go big. Uh, Cover Action Pro. That's like a super advanced mock-up creator. You can make like really good looking stuff on here. You know, magazines, ebooks. Or you can outsource it um, to Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer.com, stuff like that. But I hope that helps give you some direction. Um, I'm going to hop off here for now and get back to work. So I'll see you guys around. Got any questions? Let me know.